Hi devs, before we start the video, I have a couple of things to say. First of all, I'm thanking each one of you because we just reached 1k subs on YouTube. It's not that big number nowadays, but it really means a lot to me and I'm really glad to help share solutions with you and this will make me to upload videos more frequently. So devs, as you know, I mainly focused on Django on this channel, uh, but since I decided to add more content, we're going to build cool stuff with Python. Just cool stuff, such as automations, web applications, or turning things to code with Python. Which will boost your knowledge and expand your portfolio as well. Alright then, enough talking, let's get started. Well, as you noticed in my previous videos, my typing speed is a bit slow. Not a bit slow, but really slow, so I tried a plenty, of, uh, plenty of platforms on internet which increase the typing skills. You just have to type quickly, you know, the words inside container, and at the end it just shows how fast, uh, how fast you are typing. So a few days ago, while I'm trying to type all these words, suddenly I thought, hey, why I'm not automating that? Okay then, first thing first, let's create uh, and activate our virtual environment and then we will install Selenium by using pip install Selenium. Once it's successfully installed, let's search for Chrome driver because without that it's not possible to execute Selenium test scripts uh, in Google Chrome uh, as well as automate any web application, right? Here you see different versions of Chrome driver. So at this point, we have to check which version uh, which version Chrome is using in our system. To achieve that, open Google Chrome, click the three dots in the upper right corner of the window, hover your cursor over the help, click about Google Chrome, and the version of your Google Chrome browser will appear on the next window, toward the top of the screen. Currently, mine is, as you see, uh, it's uh, 87, so in this case, I need driver with version 87. Let's look for it. Oh, here it is. Click, click on that and download zip folder for your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I will choose that one for Windows. After that, extract the files and inside the folder, you will see chromedriver.exe. I'm going to copy this file and paste it into my working directory. Great, now we have our driver, so it's time to code and test if it's actually working. Let's import web driver from Selenium. Then create a new variable named driver and then assign it to the driver.chrome by defining executable path of Chrome driver. In my case, it's going to be C users user desktop typing test from driver.exe blah blah something like that. You, uh, this path will uh, have to be different in your machine. So if you noticed here, I defined a path inside these R quotes. It means that with a string is to be treated as a row string, which means all escape codes will be ignored. You can actually write it with um, double, double forward slash, but using R quotes is uh, much simpler, I think. Next, let's see our typing website. You see, there is a words container and basically you are just typing the word, pressing the space button on keyboard and, and next word and so on. Let's copy the URL and then pass it into driver.get function. Great, time to test it to see if our driver and navigation works. Awesome, it's working. Now open the inspect element in the browser by clicking F12 button on your keyboard. First thing first, we need to get the active, uh, the active, the current word which platform expects to be entered in the input area. As you see here, it has the ID named current word. If I type the word and click the space, the ID is not belong to previous word anymore. We need to wait until this ID assigned to the current word. To achieve that, Selenium provides us with explicit wait, which is waiting for a certain condition to occur before proceeding further into code. So before the implementation, we need to import few things. It's going to be um, import by import web driver wait and import expected conditions as ES, EC actually. Now let's add explicit wait here. So. Here we will use EC, it stands for expected condition, and it will return a boolean true in case of success or not null 
if it fails to locate element. And by using web driver wait, Selenium will wait for a maximum of 10 seconds for an element matching the given criteria to be found, which is um, element I, uh, with ID current word in our case. Once we get the current word, it needs to be injected inside input. So I see here the ID of input is input. <laughs> really creative name. Create a new variable named input area and I'm going to use standard selenium locator, find element by ID and inside it define the ID. Well, we have we have to click the input in order to get started and there's a listener I guess in the side which starts timer right away once the input state becomes focused. So I'm just using click function here. Great, now we, now we need to send the current word inside input and after that press the space. Thanks Selenium provides us with common keys for pressing such as enter or space button on the keyboard virtually of course. And let's import to be able to press space button by using automation. Alright then, the main structure is ready. Once I run the code it only will apply it for the first word, not all of them. So this process needs to be continuously executed once all the words finished. At this point, we will use for loop with range function. Let's see how many words we have in the container. Well, as you see, they have same class name, which is next word. So uh, we can use it to find total number of words. By using find elements class name locator, uh, we can get the list of these elements. And since we only need the length, uh, let's surround it with len function. After that, define a for loop with range function, but we will add plus, plus one to the length in order to calculate the current word as well. Otherwise, for loop will stop without getting the last word in the container. Finally, indent the code inside for loop and you are done. Open terminal, cmd, cmdir, whatever is that, and run this stuff. Let's see what gonna what's gonna happen. In three, two. One. Wow, that that was fast. <laughs> Thank you for watching and if you want more content like this, please subscribe otherwise you will make me to write another script to do it for you. Stay healthy and stay connected. See you next time.